This is Nittany Lion Roar with Extreme Panda, and I am going to do revenge video number two. Um, so what I'm going to do is skip my hero chest because I've been finding I get a lot more emblems in the hero chest um, than I do in the monster chest. So I try to fill that as much as I possibly can. Then let's go to the watchtower and start revenging my losses. All right, we have a green tank, um, so I'm just gonna take red for sure. Grave maker. Let's do, um, I like two healers. Let's do Bull Tusk, let's do Marjana. Drake and Delilah. Okay, I think this is good. My cat Basil likes to join me for video, so he's probably going to come on and provide some commentary here too. Hi, Basil. Hi. Let's let's attack a uh, tall Toki now. All right, Basil, you're gonna point out all my mistakes. All right, let's see. Um. Okay, I have some red matches there, but I want to connect them with. Um, Morgan here, uh, and I think I want to wait for a slightly better board before I start matching my reds. Like that. Just like that. See, I just maximized my ability to kill Morgan by just being patient and making sure I had enough, um of the red gems as possible to kill tank. Um, not saying this is going to be easy now, but it's going to be a lot easier now that um, Morgan is not on the board. All right, how am I doing, Basil? Oh, almost killed Gravemaker before he went off. Okay, well... Um, I didn't get enough of the tile color I wanted to kill Aaron. Um, so let's just work on Magni and Gravemaker. And I don't think I can help Aaron going off. It's not a big deal, but let's just try to kill the others before Aaron does go off. Yeah, Basil. Are we doing good? I think we are. Alright, I don't want to use Gravemaker and Drake yet because Aaron is blocking my effects, the status ailments. Um, but I can just go ahead and whittle down their life a little bit for when I am able to. How many turns left is there? Oh, there's a lot of turns left. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can go three whole turns without Justice going off, but we'll see. Ooh, it's so close. Okay, let's... Alright, let's do this. Alright, there you have it. Victory number one. Let's hope for five more. Next up we have Vivica surrounded by two purples. I kind of ignore the purples. I don't care that I overload on purples with purple flanks. Um, but I am going to need heroes to dispel uh, Vivica's and, and um, Victor's defense buffs. Um, I'm worried about that Gravemaker in the corner if I'm not quick enough. Uh, he's going to go off and do a lot of damage. So I think it's probably best if I keep red but overload on purple. Okay, Demidia also clears buffs away, so she's probably a good one to have here. Um, let's take Sartana. She's fast. And Sabina, who's going to clear 
some buffs away too. So basically we're just going to keep them from defense buffing. Okay. Um, you'll notice that I was making sure the mana troops are the way I want them. Um, actually, let's trade this up. I'm going to put the bigger attack troop on Demidia. She's got a really high attack. See, it's 725 as compared to Sartana, which is 694. Sartana does the bigger percentage um, damage whenever she strikes, but... Um, you know, I, I really want the high tile damage to try and kill Vivica before she goes off. So, um, this actually, this setup gives me more tile damage. All right. What can I do with this board? Let's start by trying to make Gravemaker go off. I think that's the way we'll do it. Then we can make a green diamond. Okay, if I set the green diamond off, I think I can make a purple dragon bomb in the middle. All right. If I set that dragon bomb off, then what happens? Hmm, Gravemaker is perilously close to going off. Um, I can match three reds and then make three purples go off, or I can um, make four purples and let's just do that. Let's just set a little cascade off. There we go, that was a good cascade. All right, but Gravemaker here is going to be a problem. This was I, I was afraid of this. Um, yeah, and then I probably should have waited on that. But um, let's go ahead and see if I can kill Aaron. Yep, and try to get rid of Victor and Gravemaker as fast as possible here. Yeah. Victor went off again. I wonder if I can charge Sabina here. Yep. Okay. That was a pretty good cascade. Let's heal. Let's see if Demidia can kill. Gravemaker, good. And Sartana will go after Elise. I probably should have done it the other way, but it didn't really matter. All right, victory number two. Oh, D is online. Okay, another yellow tank with purple flanks. Um, you know, when this is the case, I, I like to have Gravemaker to try to just be fast. Um, I don't think I want yellows. We're just going to go with this again. Although I should have brought Obregard instead of um, Sabina this time. Alright, here's a tip. So I could have made a blue di uh, diamond there, but I did not because when you can kill an opposing hero, don't wait around, just do it because you never know what's going to happen. Um, something terrible might occur, and um, it's so much easier to kill their heroes if there's not five trying to bash you. So that is why I did not make the blue diamond, even though I usually recommend making diamonds, even off color, as much as you possibly can. Okay. Not entirely sure the best next move. Uh, there's not a lot of red and purple, but there's not a good way to send tiles up the middle either. Okay, so Basil has some advice for me. All right, Basil, thank you. You helped me get a red match up the middle. I appreciate that. All right, let's get Gravemaker going. Now is a good time to make a purple, or I mean a blue diamond. Um... I can be selective and match the purple. I think that's what I want to do for right now. 
not set the blue diamond off yet. Because I'm really trying to avoid Sartana and King Arthur going off. I might set the... Hmm, I might set it off now, though. Because Panther's about to go off. How long is this going to last? One more turn. So can I actually avoid hitting Panther? I don't think I can avoid hitting Panther the way this board is. So maybe I just hope for chaos. All right, let's see if we can kill King Arthur. Who killed King Arthur? Oh man, he's tough. Well, let's try to get Sabina to heal. All right, I think we have this now. That should be it. All right, so that was victory number three. And now we have a Gwyn tank. So, hmm, I think I like blue instead of red this time. Let's, let's put Regard in. It's a hard choice because Gravemaker can get underneath Gwyn. So, do I care? Hmm. I like having Gravemaker against Gwyn. Let's stick with that. All right. Let's get half the red match. All right, we got some good purples to take care of Gwyn now. All right, good. All right, as much as I really, there's a lot of heroes I wanna go after here because Albia, Lacey, and Gravemaker are all really tough. Really, really tough. Um, and Gravemaker can destroy a team all on his own, but Albi can resurrect the team. I think, I think I can't have Gravemaker destroying my team, so let's do that. Um, let's make one purple match, and then I'm going to go for Chaos. All right. I hope Gravemaker dies here. Because Alacy's certainly going to try to kill somebody here. All right. Chaos time. Because two of their heroes are charged anyway. Oh, that wasn't as much chaos as I hoped for. All right. I really need to get Regard to heal. I'm gonna have to hurry up and try to get Domitia and Sartana to kill Albi. Uh, come on now. I don't think I'm gonna kill Albi in time. Maybe I should have killed Albi instead of Gravemaker. But Gravemaker is like a one one man like wrecking crew, so I don't know, just don't bring Gravemaker back. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's heal a little bit. Since there's Hunter after Albi again. Um and we just need to kill Albi. We don't need Albi going off anymore.
All right. I didn't check the the troops that this guy has on these heroes, but man, they take a lot of damage before they die. I'm going to have to go back and check. I don't know if it's just that like I'm underestimating how much this is taking to kill these heroes or if he's got like really good troops because I'm only down to one damage dealer now. Let's let's do some damage with tiles. There we go. Okay. All right, tough fight, Septic. I'm going to check that out again. Let's see. Septic. Yeah, those troops are moderate. I don't know, it was just taking me forever to, to kill him. All right, so we've got two purples next to each other. And blue. So I'm definitely taking yellow. Um, yellow and green would be smart. But I don't think that the heroes I have for yellow and green align where I want them to. Um, in that I want like a hero that buffs my team, uh, which I don't get with yellow and green. And I'm talking about a hero like Bold Tusk or Kirill, who will buff the attack of my team. So let's do Kirill and Elise. Make sure that the troops are set up right. I'm putting the mana troop on Jackal uh, so that it only takes two matches. I'm going to toughen Kirill up a little bit. Make sure the big fat fatty troop is on Delilah so that the minions are bigger. And I'm going to attack. See how many yellow tiles it gave me? <laughs> it knows that... Um, my team's stronger. So that is a problem. You can't underestimate teams. Um, if you get a bad board, you get a bad board. This is one I should win easily, but this board isn't great. So I've got to, I've got to be careful, um, and be smart. Okay. See, I've got two matches here now. I'm going to send the one on the left first. Because if I did the middle one first, it would have charged Sartana. So I'm going to send this at Sartana. Hopefully she doesn't hit Jackal. Oh my gosh. Terrible. Alright, and now I've just got to clear the board of bad tiles. Okay. We'll do this yellow match. All right, just don't kill a lacy. All right, I need my Carol to go off here soon. Wow, look at that! Did you see that? Their specials are going off. So. Yeah, the special skills give them minions. Um, really don't think I want Colin burning me. At the same time, I'm, I'm still left without a lot of good tiles, so... You know what? Regard can be annoying. I'm just getting rid of Regard, because... Nope. You know, how long does this last? Ah, one turn. I should I wasted that. Sorry, I have... Um, I am inexperienced playing against Inari, and I totally messed that up. Um, and that is going to get me in trouble, because Regard's going to go off and heal everybody, and then Inari's probably going to go off again here in a few turns. Um, wow. Goodness. Alright, so this time I know not to throw specials at heroes after Inari goes off her. How many turns does that last? I should have done my research to know better what Inari does. See, I underestimated Inari. Okay, so this only lasts for three turns. So I'm just going to charge heroes while I wait.
Okay, that's all done, right? Yep. All right. If I was uh, fighting against a stronger team with this board, I probably would have lost. Um, and I made a bad mistake in it, which um, made it closer than it, um, way closer than it probably should have been. So good job, Polo. Nice defense. And we got one more. Oh, am I out of revenges except for that guy that's online? Oh, good, he's offline. Okay. All right. Um, Delilah. We got a Magni there. Hmm. Kiona. The caster in your pie allies get allies get forty five percent attack. So, hmm. I think I want to take Sabina on this one because the two flanks give buffs that Sabina can dispel. Um, Domitia, same thing. And Sartana. And I think I'm going to do blue again. I probably shouldn't have taken them out in the first place. There we go. Set up the troops. Um, we're going to put the really high attack on Domitia again because she's got a really high attack stat. Um, okay. All right. May the boards be with me. Ooh, the board is not with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total um, tiles in my colors. All right. When I have to clear bad tiles, I just look for ways to set off cascades. And if there's no real clear way to set off a cascade, I just try to make matches as close to the top of the board as I can. Um, just hoping things just start cascading into each other. This is probably going to set Delilah off doing this. Um, but I don't really have a choice when I don't have colors. Okay, we can get rid of some blues here. Yes, I know I ignored the purple match, but that purple match wasn't worth it if I have a board full of bad colors. So that is what this was all about. Okay, good. So I can toughen my guys up. I wonder if I can kill Magni before. Oh, I can definitely kill Magni. Is it worth killing Magni? Or should I have go after Aslar? Um... I should go after Aslar because I don't know when I'm going to be able to hit him again. So that's just what we're going to do. All right, yellow has the most tiles, so let's get rid of those. We're just back to getting rid of bad tiles. All right, let's get rid of green. Heal up a little bit. Um, is that enough purple to kill Magni? We'll try. Yep. Kill Kiona. And now... I just have to get rid of Eve. I love Eve, by the way. Uh, not really on defense. Um, just, like... I'm not huge on Panther on defense. But, goodness, Eve makes fighting blue titans a lot easier. And going up against uh, blue tanks, beating blue tanks is a walk in the park now. Okay, die, Eve, die. And there it is. 6-0. All right. Thank you for watching.